So Lilith was Adam's first wife, right? Or was she the consort of Samael? Who even is Samael? All right, let's clear up some of this confusion with part two of the Lilith lore. Brought to you by me, bare face, no freckles, I can do this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Ilyan. I wrote a master's on alchemy and occultism and dream analysis. I'm about to finish my PhD and I can't believe it. And from time to time, I turn into a cat. And as you can tell, I find great comfort in TikTok filters. As we established in our last Lilith video, the Lilith lore went through a lot of development over time. And the story of her and Adam's disagreement doesn't come out until around the 8th century. That's not where the development stops. Because a couple hundred years later, we have the emergence of Kabbalah. And in a text written by the Cohen brothers entitled The Treaties of the Left Emanation, we get a whole new story about Lilith and Samael. And in this treatise, there isn't one Lilith, but two. A matron and a maiden Lilith. Now what this treatise is trying to do, most of all, is characterize the existence of evil. And in some Kabbalistic literature, the whole left emanation is attributed to evil. What the Cohen brothers try to do with this treatise is create a whole genealogical map of all of the demons and evil entities and princes that come out of this left emanation. Now, very interestingly, the Cohen brothers, like many Jewish mystics around the 12th and 13th century, and even a little earlier, were exposed to Islam, particularly Islamic mysticism and philosophy. Because by this time, Spain wasn't Spain. It was Andalusia. Islamic philosophy and science had a massive impact on the European Middle Ages. Islamic influence on European thought is very deep, and it will require one, if not several, videos of its own. But for now, let's see what the Cohen brothers say about Lilith. First, we have the introduction of Samael, the first of the legion of seven evil princes. And these princes, according to the Cohen brothers, are always at war, and it is a war of jealousy. And the reason for all that jealousy? Our girl, Lilith. And even though Lilith is rightfully Samael's because they were born together as a shadow image of Adam and Eve, the evil fallen versions of the perfect man and woman, all the other princes want her too. Now apparently in this whole hierarchy, there's also the emanation of a king named Asmodeus. And even though he is of a higher emanation, he is still subject to Samael. And Asmodeus, the great king of demons, has as a mate a lesser, younger Lilith. And Samael, being a natural emanation of evil and jealousy, becomes envious of Asmodeus, because his Lilith is prettier and younger. He says she's in the form of a beautiful woman from head to waist, but from the waist down, she is burning fire, like mother, like daughter. And here's what's really interesting. The idea of demons made of fire is Islamic in essence. We know that the Coen brothers were in the Andalus in the 13th century. There's a little more. I think we're going to need a part three. 